गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर टू लिनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल लिनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइव सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट पार्ट आप क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड सेकेंड पार्ट आप क्वेश्चन नंबर वन written here you can see we need to need uh, solve this it means that we need to find the value of f in each equation this is equation given we need to find the value of x so how we find the value of x so let's see uh, so first here given solution of this question The given equation is given given equation equation is x plus one by two x plus three is equal to three by a. This is the given equations. Okay. After this. Cross multiplication methods. What is the cross multiplication methods? Uh, you can see here a by b is equal to c by d. According to the cross multiplication, is that a multiplied by d and c multiplied by c. And you can write here a into d is equal to b into c. This is called as Class multiplication method. This is clear now. So, according to this uh, method, we can write it. This implies that a into a x plus one. A multiplied a x plus one. This is equal to three multiplied by two x plus three. This number multiplied by this, and this is multiplied by this. This is clear. I hope all of you understood this methods, cross multiplication method. Okay. Now uh, here eight. When you going to take it, so eight multiply x. So eight into x. This is equal to what? This is equal to eight x. Eight into x. This is equal to eight x. And uh, here plus we write as it is. 8 into 1. This is equal to again 8. One is the called multiplicative identity. This is clear. And uh, here in this side, right hand side, we have 3 into 2x plus 3. So when 3 multiply 2x, then we get 6x. This is equal to what? 6x. And here we write plus identity. 3 into 3 is equal to what? 3 into 3 is equal to Nine. Clear. Now, so in left hand side we have eight x plus eight, and in right hand side we have six x plus nine. So here we use variable separable methods. What is the variable separable methods? In this method, methods we transfer each each variable one side and constant other side. Okay. In this method, variable separable methods we write. Um, variable one side and the constant other side. Okay, so here you can see x is variable eight x in the six x we write left hand side and uh, nine is constant eight is also constant. So we uh, separate it in the right hand side. Okay, now so next step you can see eight x we are transposing this six x in left hand side. It is become minus. Okay. So this is six x. Clear now. Again, when you transpose this x to right hand side, it is also become minus. But in right hand side, nine exists already. Uh, so we write here nine minus eight. And uh, when you subtract a six from eight, then you get what do you you find? Two x. Okay. So here you find two uh, x. And uh, in left hand side. But in right hand side, you can see nine minus eight. If you subtract eight from nine, then you get what? 
I will say you can say one. So you will write one. Now, 2x means what? 2x means 2 into x. So we uh, again separate this constraint. Okay? So we transposing to uh, from right side. Okay? To left side. So we get here you can see the 2 is multiplied by x. We will transposing it uh, to right hand side. It, uh, then 1 divided by 2. So you can see here we get 1 by 2. So in this way we find the solution of x or the value of x. Okay. So the value of x is 1 by 2. So student, I hope all of you understood in this part. Now we are going to discuss second part of this question number one. In this exercise, we need to solve the following equations, which is given. Okay. Uh, so in first part of question number one, this is given x plus one by two x plus three is equal to three by eight. Then we simplify it. Uh, it when we simplify it, then we get the value of x is one by two. Okay. Now we are going to discuss. We are going to find the value of x in second part. Okay, so let's see. First, we are then after this, we we'll try to find the value of this of the given equation 3 by s plus 8 is equal to 4 by 6 minus x. This is clear now. So, let's see. And I hope all of you understood the first part of this question. And in this question, uh, you will some <coughs> technique that how to solve the Subscribe problems. Okay, how to use where we use the class multiplication methods. Okay, now the solution of second part of question number one. And uh, solution of second of question number one. So we are we again write the given equation is what is the given equation? Let's see. Given equation. What is the given equation? 3 by 3 by x plus 8. This is equal to 4 by 6 minus x. This is a given equation. Clear? This is a given equation. Now, so here we use class multiplication methods. I hope all of you are familiar with the class multiplication. But here we will write again it. If this is given like this to, uh, to fraction or to equation a by b, this is equal to uh, c by d, c by d. According to, to the class multiplication methods, this multiplied by x and this multiplied by c. So we can write it a into b is equal to b into c. This is called class multiplication method. So, according to the class multiplication, so you can also write it like this. Okay. Uh, so, we can write it uh, 3 into 6 minus x. This is equal to 4 into x plus 8. This is clear. Now, we multiply this part, this denominator to this denominator, again we multiply this denominator to this denominator. Clear? So we get 3 into 6 minus x uh, is equal to 4 into x plus 8. This is clear. Uh, now, you open this bracket. When you open this bracket, you will get. What you get? You can see here 3 into 6. 3 into 6 is equal to what? 18. 3 into 6 is equal to 18. And here this is minus. So we write it as 18. 3 into x. 3 into x is equal to what? 3x. This is clear. Now, after this, we can write here 4 into x. 4 into x is equal to x. What? 4 into x is equal to 4x uh, plus 4 into 8. 4 into 8 is equal to 32. Now, you can see in left hand side 18 minus 3x is equal to in right hand side 
4 8 plus 32 this is clear now here we use the variable separable methods what is this methods in this method sir, we transfer variable one side and and constant other side so let's see we transfer this clear in uh, left hand side or right, right hand side or you can say we transfer the four here in left hand side clear and uh, this question comes 18 in right hand side okay uh, so let's see when we transfer it then you get minus 3x it, uh, here it is already exist and we transfer 4x this becomes minus 4x okay in right hand side we have 32 again we will transfer this a from left to right we get here minus 18 this is clear so here you can see minus 3x minus 4x minus 3x and the minus 4x is equal to what minus 3x and the minus 4x is equal to minus 7x because you can see here both quantity are minus so you can add them but you use the negative sign because both are in minus so here you can write minus 7x this is equal to what 32 minus 18 32 minus 18 is equal to 14 ok we will write 14 here we are transposing this 7x to the right hand side then we get we will find the value of x is equal to 14 by minus 7 this gives x is equal to minus 2 this is the value of x clear so student i hope all of you understood this part ok now uh, we are going to discuss next part next questions question number 2 what have in question number 2 question number 2 have we given that if p is equal to x plus 1 and 4p minus 3 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 by 5 is equal to 3 by 2 then find the value of x so let's see how to find how to solve these questions okay first we arrange them after this we start this question and i hope i have understood the first question here we use variable separable methods and uh, class multiplication method to find the value of x okay so in second question this is given that if the p is equal to x plus 1 what is given in the second question in the second question this is given if p is equal to x plus 1 this is given p is equal to x plus 1 this is given and 4p minus 3 by 5 also given 4p minus 3 by 2 and 4p minus 3 by 2 minus 4p minus 3 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 by 5 3x plus 2 by 5 this is equal to given 3 by 2 this is equal to given 3 by 2 we need to find here the value of x find uh, find x find that means find the value of x here this is given the p is equal to x plus 1 and 4p minus 3 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 by 5 is equal to 3 by 2 we need to find the value of x Yes, this is clear. Uh, so first we are putting the value of c in given equations. Okay, so here we write a uh, solution. First write it uh, solution. What is given in question first write here? Given. We write here? Given. What is given? P is equal to x plus 1 and 4p 
by 3, 4p minus 3 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 by 5 is equal to 3 by 2. Okay, this is given. So first we put taking the value of p in the given equations. This is a given equation and this is the value of p. So what is the value of p? ax plus 1. Okay. So you put the value of p here x plus 1. So let's see. Uh, uh, you are here putting putting the value of p in given equation equation okay so what is our equation our equation is that 4 p minus 3 by 2 minus 3 x plus 2 by 5 is equal to 3 by 2 this is our given equation this is clear now uh, so if you put here uh, in the place of p x plus 1 so it becomes what it becomes uh, 4 into x plus 1 minus 3 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 we write it as it is by 5 is equal to 3 by 2 this is here now when you multiply it by 4 then you get here 4x plus 4 minus 3 ok so um, this gives this gives to us 4x plus 4 uh, 4x plus 4 minus 3 by what 2 uh, minus 3x plus 2 by 5 this is equal to what 3 by 2 this is clear now here if you subtract 4 and uh, 3 from 4 then you get 1 so you can write it mm. Uh, 4x plus 1 by 2 minus 3x plus 2 by 5 this is equal to 3 by 2 now in next step we can take the LCM of 2 and the 5 you know very well the LCM of 2 and the 5 is what the LCM of 2 and the 5 is 10 ok so we write here this becomes, becomes 10 and we can multiply uh, 5 by this part uh, 4x plus 1 minus uh, this multiply by 2 uh, 3x plus 2 this is uh, to 3 by 2 clear uh, so I hope all of you understood this part now when you open this bracket then we get 5 into 4 this is equal to 20 20x plus 5 into 1 this is equal to 5 minus 2 into 3 this is equal to 6x and again minus 2 into 2 this is equal to 4 and here 3 by 2 when you transposing this 10 to right hand side it will become uh, multiplied multiplic multiplic with 3 by 2 ok now you can cancel it 2, 5 is 10 and 5 is 15. This is clear now. Here you can see 20x, 6x both are, are like terms. 20x and 6x both are like terms. Then you can subtract it. So 20x minus 6x then you get what? You get here uh, 14x. Okay. Uh, plus. Here this is the 5 minus 4. So you get here 1. And here. 5 is a 15. You get here 15. Okay, now when you transposing this one to right hand side, then what 1 becomes minus. So here we get uh, 14x is equal to 15 minus 1. Or x is equal to, we can say 14. 15 minus 1 is 14, and if you transposing this x, uh, and this 14 to the uh, uh, right hand side then it divides 14 
So we get here 14 by 14. 14 by 14 is equal to what? So we get x equal to 1. Clear? So I hope all of you understood uh, this part of the exercise. Question number 2, exercise 2.2. This is clear. Now so we are going to discuss uh, the third questions of this exercise. Let's see what are in third questions. So first we raise them. After this, we discuss the third questions. Okay. Uh, so I hope all of you understood how to solve this third question. Now first, we will put the value of p as any other variable in the given equation. After this, we simplify by the cross multiplication or by the by using the uh, variable separable method. Okay. In this method. Uh, we separate variable one side and the question other side. After this, we solve the question and the, uh, find the value of given variables. Okay. So let's see what happens in question number three. Question number three here. Solve the equation x plus one uh, by x minus one is equal to two x plus three by two x minus five. What is question number 3? x plus 1 by x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 3 by 2x minus 5. 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 by 2x minus 5. This is our given equations. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, solve them. So how we solve them? First, we, uh, we use here cross multiplication methods, okay? Because this is given as a part of fractions. So, you can see it's like this a by b is equal to c by d. If two parts are equal, then here we use cross multiplication methods, okay? So, according to the cross multiplication methods, we can write it a into b is equal to b into this is here, a into d is equal to b into uh, c. This is the cross multiplication method. We use first here cross multiplication method. Of this, we simplify them by the help of the given separable method. And last, we find the value of x. This is clear. So let's see how to solve these questions. So here, first we use the cross, cross multiplication methods. According to the cross multiplication methods, we can write here ax plus 1 into this part, multiply by this part, uh, 2x minus 5 is equal to this part, multiply by this part. So, into x minus 1 into 2x plus 3. 2x plus this is clear now. And this is a binomial. This is a multiplication of binomial to binomials. So you can use the multiplication of monomial to binomials. So you can change it like this. Uh, x, you can write it x into 2x minus 5 plus 1 here. We write again here 2x minus 5 is equal to. You can break it in two parts, ax into this part, minus 1 into this part. So ax into 2x plus 3 minus 1 into 2x plus 3. This is here. So then you can just break it, ax into 2x. So ax into x is equal to what? x square you get. Uh, so you can say it becomes x square. Uh, 2x square minus x into 5, this is minus 5x plus here 1 into 2x, this is 2x minus 1 into 5, this is minus 5. Here now, again here 2x into x, x into 2x or 2x into x, you get 2x square. Okay, according to the uh, law, law of exponents, x into x is equal to x power or 2. So you can write here x becomes 2x square 
and x plus 3, x into 3, 3x. And if you put it here, minus 1 into 2x plus 3, so when you take it, it is become 2x minus 3. Clear? So you can say 2x square, 2x square, it will be cancelled. In both sides, we have 2x square, 2x square have same quantity and the same uh, charge, positive, both are positive. So it will be cancelled. 2x square, 2x square, it will be a cancel here, minus 5x plus 2x. So it becomes a 1 minus a 3x and a minus 5 3x is equal to 3x minus 2x. This is equal to 2x minus 3. Clear? Now we are transposing this uh, x. Here we use the variable separable methods. Okay? So we transpose this x to the left hand side and this y to the right hand side. So we get here this is minus 3x minus x is equal to uh, plus 5 minus 3. So minus 3x minus 1x. This becomes a minus 4x. Okay? This becomes a minus 4x is equal to or you can write it x is equal to 2 by minus 4 this implies that x is equal to minus 1 by 2 ok so you can see here we find the value of x I hope all of you understood these questions now we are going to discuss next questions what has next question question number uh, four okay so let's see what have question number four in question number four this is given two variables a x and the two and the value of p is also given okay so we put the value of p in equation and we find the value of x okay so let's see this is question number this is given x plus 3 by 3 minus x minus 2 by 2 is equal to 1. Okay? Uh, and uh, find the value of p if 1 upon x plus p is equal to 1. Okay? So first equation is given here x plus 3 upon 3. x plus 3 upon 3. This is equal to minus x minus 2 upon 2 x minus 2 upon 2 is, is equal to given 1 is equal to given 1 and here we need to try and find the value of p if 1 upon x plus p is equal to 2 then we need to find the value of p this is also given 1 upon x plus p is equal to 2 uh, and uh, x plus 3 by 3 minus x minus 2 by 2 is equal to 1. So, uh, first we find the value of x here. After this you put here the value of x and you find the value of p. Okay? So, we can write it like this. Uh, p is equal to 2 by uh, 2 minus 1 by x. Okay, so first you need to find the value of p. After this, you can uh, value of x. After this, you put here value of x. You can find the value of p. So let's see. First, we solve this equations. Okay, so LCM of this equation is what? Six. You can write here two into x plus uh, three minus two into uh, sorry here you can write three three into x minus two. Now, multiply this 2 into x, it becomes 2x plus 6 minus 3x minus, uh, plus 6. Again, this is equal to 1 into 3. So we transpose this 6 to that side. Okay, so here we will get minus x plus 2 uh, minus 3x minus x, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 12, 1 into 6, this is equal to 6, or minus this is equal to uh, 6 minus 12, you can get here, x is equal to minus this is equal to minus 6, or x is equal to 6. Clear? So 
you find the value of 6 but here you need to find the value of 3 so here we put s is equal to 6 then we get a t is equal to 2 minus 1 upon 6 and this becomes uh, 12 minus 1 by 3 at uh, value of t is equal to 11 by 6 clear so in three you can see find the value of t and the value of x okay so student i hope all of you understood this question thanks for watching jane